Uh, well, that's quite right. If you looked at the body language, if you've seen the pictures, uh, it was pretty awkward. Um, Putin is still playing his cards pretty close to his chest. He promised uh, a loan of $1.5 billion uh, to uh, Lukashenko to prop up the economy uh, in Belarus. And uh, he also said that um, Russia would do all it could to support the union treaty that exists between these two countries. Uh, it's a common economic space. There's normally no border between the two countries. Um, they've supposed to have been working towards a common currency for some time, although that hasn't materialized, mainly because Lukashenko has been dragging his heels over this. Um, now, what is interesting here is that uh, President Putin also said that uh, Russia uh, didn't believe in foreign meddling in Belarus. Uh, Lukashenko had, tried, had been trying to push Putin, uh, saying that NATO had been having uh, military maneuvers on its borders and suggesting that Russia should really be sending troops in. Uh, and Putin was quite clear. He said that there was no reason to do that. Uh, Russian power troops, who are currently engaged in the first over 10 days of military drills with their Belarusian counterparts, would be coming home, he said. He emphasized that uh, Lukashenko had long experience of government and that he felt that uh, with all his experience, he should be able to sort this out internally, and he had confidence that he could do that. He also praised the idea of holding a constitutional reform and fresh elections after that, although that's something which the opposition has shot down, saying that they don't believe that will solve the major issues that they see in Belarus, which is principally that Lukashenko has outstayed his welcome and is running the country as his own personal fiefdom. Nick, I'm sorry to do this to you, but I'm going to have to change uh, tack here with you because we've been getting word in the last half hour or so from Berlin, from the hospital where uh, opposition figure Alexei Navalny uh, is re seemingly recovering. They say he's certainly managed to move from his bed briefly and they do say his condition has improved. Uh, it turns out that Emmanuel Macron, the French president, has had a phone conversation with Vladimir Putin about Alexei Navalny, uh, where he's asked the Russian leader to shed light on the attempted murder of Navalny, with Putin responding that, uh, as far as he's concerned, there is Russia has nothing to say. We, uh, from where you are now, uh, what is the situation in regards to Alexei Navalny? Well, that, that's quite right. I mean, first of all, uh, President Putin has basically told the French president to mind his own business um, and that uh, the suggestion that uh, the Kremlin is involved in the poisoning, uh, the attempted murder, as President Macron called it, of Alexei Navalny is nonsense. The Russians have been insisting that they still need to see the uh, full results of these tests, which have now been corroborated by French and other scientists, in addition to the German scientists. And, of course, the other latest development is that uh, the foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, who was due in Berlin soon for meeting with his German counterpart, uh, has pulled out of those talks because he said he was only given a 90-minute slot with his German counterpart, although the German side is saying that they advised the Russians of this already uh, 10 or 11 days ago. So, I mean, really, we're now in a situation where, with Navalny improving in hospital in Berlin, the relations between Berlin and Moscow are pretty shaky, and the relations between Paris and Moscow seem to be on a similar course at the moment. Nick Holdsworth from uh, Moscow, thank you.